What's going on, Playboys? I wanted to start this vlog in a different way than the others because this Friday we went to shoot my wife's clothing line that she made for me, so it's called Salamandra by Boland. Out of that, I want to talk to you guys about two things. Number one, empowering people, and number two, timing. So my wife's been a, fa a fashion stylist for about 10 years. She's worked with everyone. She's dressed people up for red carpets. She's done it privately for others. She's rearranged closets. She helps with design, all of that stuff. So she's been working on this for literally 10, 12 years of her life on just clothing and fashion. Her fashion line is completely out. I helped her out, but this is more than just, oh, she got to do her clothing line because Alejandro's got money. This is more than just that. This is about me trying to get you guys to realize all of the things that she had to go through to get to that point and also how important it is to empower people. A lot of us like to think that investing should always be just about the thing you're investing and that's not true. Investing in people might be the greatest ways of investing, period. <laughs> I was trying to find like uh, another analogy, but period. If you invest in someone that's really talented and you can actually supplement their talents with whatever you're bringing to the table, you're always gonna do great. I've seen my wife go through this whole process all of her life alongside me and we've always tried to find a way to uh, uh, work together and obviously every single day when you're with someone you want to live together with them and do everything better so that you can all have a better and happier life and with her was that like it was just finding the right timing i've seen her work on the right things i've seen me do my own things and and we've grown together at the same time in different ways i've seen you do this for so long let me now empower you with the ability to take it to the next level. And she killed it. And once you see the clothing and feel it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And it's more than just execution. If we would have done this, and I would have told Belen right when she came out of college, hey babe, you want to do your own clothing line? The line would have been three, four times more expensive. We wouldn't have an outlet to put it out to sell. We wouldn't know what the audience is gonna be like. Are we gonna do it for men? Are we gonna do it for women? You don't know. Time will shape all of those things. And that's why everyone says, when you look back, you can connect the dots. I like to empower the right people with the right jobs. Not give them the right jobs. Empower them in the right jobs. I realized this not that long ago. And once I did, it's been fucking skyrocketing left and right. I mean, did the same thing with Farsha for the for the Puku line, but also I like a witness because I am so proud of what my wife did and I wanna show you everything that's in this line and we're gonna show you a little preview right now. But before that, Fargini, can you come over here? Come over here, please. Hey, 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 drag hey, yourself in here. Can I say one thing? I just want you to tell me that thing. Let me tell you, I, can I tell you two things? Two, tell one, me two things. Uh, what you, I just heard what you said, which was beautiful. But, yes, but thank to, you. To prove that you actually do this. Yes. And you mentioned Puku, but Puku was exactly what you just said, right? Yeah. That's how you started. I, I discovered a brilliant designer. Yep. Right. That no one's given him the avenues to do what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Right. And you came in. You looked at. You looked at his stuff. You looked at my skill set. And you yep. said, "Yeah." You said, "I'm going to support you guys both financially, both strategically, both whatever it is that we needed." So, but it's it more than just financial. Right? Yeah, that's, that that's is the biggest point. thing that's because I don't point. want yeah. the, the the last thing I want people to think is. Oh, money will make it work. It will not. And, it will and, not and, and make it work. To another point, yeah. you say you don't have to supervise people. Brendan, our partner in this, his standards are higher than you and I together. But this, but this is why we got to go with someone yeah. like that who can bring our standards in something that we don't have like that much standards. Yeah. Our and, level. And, and another great thing is like, yeah. he's doing his thing, you're doing your thing, and yeah. I'm doing my thing. We're all going yeah. towards the same direction in different cars, if that okay. makes any sense, okay. with different strategies. What's the second thing? Okay, so we got to the set to do the photo shoot. That's right. Milan. And uh, I was just kidding around and I said, hey guys, can I take some headshots for my Bumble? We were just all laughing. This is a legitimate thing, guys. We should probably cut to it right now. But yeah, it's exactly. a real thing. Uh -huh. And then uh, Balloon was like, oh, here, why don't you wear one of the sweaters, right? Mm -hmm. long, like, the long sleeve sweater. Okay. I put it on, no joke, from the bottom of my heart. I felt great. I felt like I looked great. Yeah. We took some pictures. I looked at the pictures immediately. I was like, holy crap, I could look like that? Like, I look like that? And aside from you thinking that all these things were happening, what happened after that? Then I then went and took that one photo, okay? The one photo and I put it on my- Strategically my, placed it on- yeah, Bumble. And- 300% increase. That's not bad. And, 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 it goes, and the quality and the, the, it's just like- I'm so proud of you. Yes. See? Now, now it's all me to mess them all up. <laughs> The other thing I want to talk about real quick because you bring that up, yeah. objectives. Belen's objective was for everyone, including someone that looks like me, to say, I feel confident with this that I'm wearing. It makes me feel special, confident, and even better than before. 
And I think she achieved that. Oh, 100%. So let, let, let's stop boring everyone. Let's go look at that and then let's go into our adventure, which also will consist today of finding a Model X and uh, reveal the security bridge on him. You'll see what we're talking about right now. Are you ready, Pedro? I'm ready. I've well, fucking hit it, son! It. my wife's clothing line right now. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're waiting. Milan's gonna be the model. Milan is the guy that we are always trying to sell every single car that we see at Evan Paul's. So we're doing a Milan DM3. review. So we're gonna do a Milan review, I think. And then we're gonna try to sell him a car. Oh, <laughs> After nice. he's done modeling all the clothing, which <laughs> I'm wearing, by the way. I don't even tell. Look at that. Milan here is our friend that owns the boxing gym where Fargini, obviously Milan and I met. Um, Milan is also the guy that we're trying to sell every single thing that we have at Evan Falls. <laughs> Unsuccessfully so far. Well, after this one, I think you should really go get that M3. After you do the, hey, after you do us this favor, uh -huh. I'll do you a favor and let you buy it. Oh, Does that wow. sound good? Oh my gosh, it's so nice. No, it, you, <laughs> it looks awesome. Thank you so much for doing yeah, this. Of course. We really it feels amazing. It. Can I kind of point out something? Yes. And don't. I hope you don't take this the wrong way because I'm a big Brad Pitt fan, but you kind of look like Brad Pitt from Inglorious Bastards. Wow. I'll we get it. Hey, all right. We don't okay. fuck around. We get like right. the best looking dude to what, do Whatever this. car you guys want me to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Because Milani's like hiding to change. And meanwhile, I'm like, yeah, I'll change right here. Everyone's like, Ugh. Why weren't you selected for this? We, we haven't released the kids line yet, which is the one that I'll be modeling in. You know, just getting ready for the next photo shoot, baby. And clearly, we're typecasting here. You're getting ready for the Puku Pals one, right? Look, just look like uh, in your model pose, in your modeling pose, like that way, and I'll just be looking like, where are you looking at? <laughs> Excellent, there it is. <laughs> We just shot all, all of the outfits, thank God. And thank you, Milan, for everything. And now we're gonna do one last shot with all of us. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, I'm not plugged in, hold on. I think it does. I think it does. I, is the microphone on? Does it have to be on? It doesn't have to be on. To be on. Are just you sure? Be plugged in. Positive. Positive. <laughs> Where's the GoPro for dummies? It's on the bus. <laughs> We're basically here. We're yep. stopping into uh, my friend Sheena's house because remember that first Model X that we drove? Yeah, the New York Giants blue one. That's right. We're stopping by to seeing that one because we think we found the security bridge on all Teslas, right? Yes. Is it all Teslas or just Model Xs? Um, I think all it's Teslas, all Teslas, right? So we think that with this technique, we're gonna be able to open any Tesla whatsoever without the alarm going off? I, d I don't know about the alarm yet because your car was dead, dead. when, so we, when don't we did know. it. Yeah. But the Tesla guys, when we brought it up that one time, they were like, no, 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 don't, it was, don't it talk was, about it. It was one of these. Hey, what about this? They, they all oh, look, look at, the other hey, way. They're like, that, oh, that, oh, oh, look at that car right there. So we don't know if they fixed it already with an update. We don't know if it hasn't been addressed at all. We don't know if it'll open the car completely. We don't know what the fuck so, is going to happen. Well, we're either going to fry the car or open the car. Open the car first. Open the car. <laughs> it, it, it's not, it's not going to be either or. It's going to be one or both. Just so you guys know, we're doing this not to be dicks or to show any weaknesses. This is more to expose what needs to be addressed for Tesla yep. rather than us shitting on them. So just take this as something educational, period. This is not a paid sponsorship by big oil car companies. They're nothing not. like that. No, 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 no. no. Just, it's just or constructive anti -pop, criticism. Anti-pop-pop-pop organizations. We know Farset would never take their money. Anti-pop-pop-pop organizations. Wow. Here she is. 
And let, let's get into it immediately. Far shot step one. What car is this? This is a, a Tesla Model X. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla Model X. Again, this is the first Tesla that I ever drove with Pedro and this is the one that blew us away. We're yeah. like, oh, we need to buy this car. But now with this one, we get to prove their security flaws. Because what we found out is when we ran out of battery on our car, when we ran out of battery, the way to access the trunk, the frunk is through here well, at because the front. When the battery was that we couldn't get There's into There's nothing it. you can you open can't get except in, this. You can't get in the car. And what we never got an answer on was, can you open the trunk while the car is still on and will it alert people that we're opening the trunk? Right? Exactly. So, can I just point something out? Yes. We're in a nice neighborhood, two brown people and a white camera guy. Like, <sighs> that doesn't look You're right. Good, now, right. Now that you say that, I'm self-conscious about it. <laughs> Let's just, we'll, just, we'll just make it quick. Note, if you're a police officer and watching this, just know that whenever you see two brown people doing something weird and yeah. you see a camera guy behind yeah. you, just maybe let the white camera guy speak yeah. before you arrest <laughs> And also, officer, if you come get us now, we, ha we are with a white person. Like, I don't know these guys. <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't you, know you, these guys. I, so step one. Find the Model X of your liking. Step two is just get down here. Just find this little pocket right here and pull. Do we need like a screwdriver? Yes, you need you need something with a flat prying okay. head. This really makes it like not good. <laughs> this is like where was the screwdriver? In my pocket. All right, glad you had a screwdriver <laughs> on you this one time. Hey, I'm always and not all the time. <laughs> I'm always prepared. You put this in the corner. Make some pressure. And it pops that right up. That literally just oh, opens that right here without damaging the piece. Yeah. Do you agree? Yes, I yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah. I concur. Okay, so now there should be two uh, red the, canvas they pieces are in there. Right here. And yep. all we gotta do is pull on them. Now pull them out just a little bit so the GoPro in there can see it. And then and we're then... gonna pull this. If the alarm does not go off, there's a big problem. But even if the alarm goes off, if someone's stealing your parts on the front, this well, is how long you it'll left take something, them. Or if you left something in the front. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, because when you valet things, people tell you. Put them, put them in your in trunk. trunk. Yeah. And this is the problem. Let's see. Hopefully the alarm will go off. Pull, you gotta pull both of them pretty hard. Hey! So it goes off. It's right now. And the door opens. Good job, Tesla. Let me see uh, uh, what it oh. says here. There are no new notifications here, by the way. So, someone can come in, set it off, take whatever's on your trunk, close it, and you'll be like, why the fuck is my car making noise? Right. Before you can even realize oh. that that's the case. What you can do is just come in, grab whatever's in there, yeah. run the fuck away. Wow. Which is not very safe. That's not good. At least there's some sort of notification, but still. Actually, while we're here, why don't we do a trunk challenge? <laughs> he should easily fit in that. All so right. who can save you the fastest, I'll Pedro or Farshad? The old school way with the... With no, the, uh, with here's the, the key. <laughs> Here's the key. You fucking cocksuckers. I do realize that I do have the power of saying I'm not going to do this, but you don't have the power. You don't, no, 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 no. you don't have the power. It's part of the show. Can when I the cameras think, are rolling, you yeah. lose all can power. Can I pretend that I have some control over my life? No, you have no. zero no. control. If it's for content, you have no control. As soon as it's, as soon as I hit record, yeah, the control you're, you're is you're out done. the door. All right, here we go. You, you can't. Yeah. You fit in the Boxster, yeah. dude. This what happened to you. What happened to you, man? You used to fit in much tighter holes. You really let yourself go. You really, you really, really let yourself go. I. You know what, Farshad? You know what yeah. I think it is? What? I think it's a little part of I don't care. Push it in. Hey, <laughs> you're fitting into this, so suck it up. You're getting in here. Why are you guys getting so aggressive? How are we, <laughs> how are we gonna save you if you get deported? Yeah. yeah. How are we Come gonna on. save you? Come on, this take is this serious. Take this serious. You're not taking this serious. Here we go. No, no, no. Your knee's gonna hit. Come on, Alejandro. Take this serious. <laughs> is this? This is not a good truck part. that he hasn't fit in? This is not no, a good No, this is the second. He didn't He didn't try in the uh, LT either. First, are you gonna put his shoes Make on? Make the I'm gonna hand it to him. Thank you. Are those Uggs? Yes. You're wearing male Uggs? Yeah. You know who else wears them? Tom Brady. Oh. And he just got a fifth oh. Super Bowl ring. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. All right. Just letting you know, Farsha. I, 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 I don't aware. fuck around. I wasn't Yeah, aware. but he's genetically gifted. Yeah. What's your... Uh, What's your excuse? You want to bring up Super Bowls? You could even fit in the front of a Tesla. Bringing up Super Bowls over here. Yeah. Can, can we just go wherever <laughs> we're going next? <laughs> So what do you 
you guys think about the Tesla? Do you think it's a real security problem or not really? Of course it's a security problem. Can I ask you this? When you bought your Tesla, did they tell you about this? No. Did they tell you that from the outside? No, but they, and they should have told me, if they would have told me, hey, listen, whenever you leave your car, the only way anyone can get into it would be through the trunk, so don't leave anything on the front. Thank you. I'd be good to go. But what I'm getting at is you'll come out running Right? Exactly. When you yeah. hear your alarm, and what if you get to your car and the trunk is closed? You don't even remember what's in yeah. your trunk. Right. Right. And you're like, oh, fucking car is going crazy. Correct. Yeah. You close it, Correct. three days go by, get in your car. Whenever you get in your car, and that's when you realize like, that yeah. day yeah. someone actually stole something from Like, my imagine trunk. we put you in the trunk, right? Anyone can get me out of there. <laughs> if you're buying one of these cars, just know if you leave it on the street, someone yeah. can steal your shit from the yeah. trunk like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, so just don't put anything on the trunk. Wait a minute. Me. Could you be growing and that's why you didn't fit in the trunk? I told you, Pedro, we needed a little thing in the office to show his growth spurts. No! I told you we needed that. No, we do not need we that. We do need that. Wow. Piece of shit. And right now we're doing the final, the final step of uh, today's video, right? Which is, first of all, we're doing a secret event with some subscribers, right? That we can't say more than that. Yeah. And we need to go make some hats for those guys, specifically yes. for that event. Yes. So we're gonna go do that right now. Hold on, what's going on? Look at this wing, look at the wing on this BMW. You will not believe this. Holy shit! Have you ever seen anything like that? Holy, what is that? Holy, that is the biggest wing in the world. Like in the world, right? Period. Period. Like why, it's like a plane. You know how on the plane they made the wings that they go up like yeah, this? Yeah, Honestly, if he goes too fast, he needs to be careful. He's gonna create lift. That, I, wow. I am shocked, I can't believe it. I, we gotta find that dude. We gotta go talk to that guy. We, <laughs> What do, you think, intervention. what do you think is the thought behind it on your I want to know. I want to talk to him about that. I really, I genuinely want to talk to him about that. What would you say to him? Why? Yeah, why is a why? great question. Why? So if anybody knows that guy, have him contact us. Have him contact Fargini at Fargini at Fargini dot Fargini. <laughs>